Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how you can view and control your computer's screen from your PSP. Now this part is for the Mac, but the next part will be for Windows XP and Vista 2. So first you're going to download Vine Server. Uh, links are in the video description. Scroll down, click Download Vine Server. Then scroll down, click Download Vine Server 3.0.dmg. Now exit out of your browser and open up your downloads folder wherever you downloaded Vine Server to. Open up the disk image and mm, simply drag Vine Server over to Applications and eject the mounted disk. Then go over to Applications, and then uh, Vine Server should be at the bottom. Double click it. And type a password. Okay, so now you need to get the PSP VNC uh, client. So uh, click on this one, it's a direct download. And exit out of your browser again. Open up your downloads folder and get rid of that. And open up the zip you just you just downloaded. Open PSP VNC uh, version 1.22 up. Then FW 1.5. Then select these two folders and drag them over to your PSP drive. PSP. Then game 150. Now go ahead and uh, eject your memory stick. Okay, so. Uh, go over to game, then memory stick, and then portable VNC viewer, it should be the first one there. Select your network connection. By the way, it does have to be set up with the PSP uh, firmware. Press X on new host. Now, this screen can be confusing, and I only figured out about an hour ago that you had to use the uh, arrow buttons on the D-pad on the PSP to change the values of the numbers on screen. So that'll be up and down, left and right. Uh, what's my IP address? Uh, 192.168.1.5 I think. Yep. And leave the 5900 at the end. Now you're done, press X. And now you can type a name for your connection. It doesn't really bother me that much, so. Just leave it as untitled host. So press enter on the on-screen keyboard and select a, an icon. And now type your password. Press enter on the on-screen keyboard and now you will see that you can connect to your computer. See? There we go. For some reason that I can't see my mouse, maybe that's something in the preferences I haven't 
quite explored that yet. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it and go ahead and do the Windows side of things. Okay, so here we are in Bill Gates' creation. He made the night after he had a curry. So first you're going to get real VNC. It's an application for Windows and it's a VNC server. So just copy and paste that over to Firefox. And these links are in the description as well. So save file. And open. If this uh, security warning comes up, press OK. So now, next. I accept. Next. Next. Uh, next. Create an icon on the desktop. Don't want a quick launch icon. Next. Install. Configure. Type a password. Confirm the password. Press enter. OK. Next. Finish. And now close Firefox. This is a direct download to the PSP VNC client. So just copy and paste that over into Firefox. Save to disk, OK. Um, close. Open up PSP VNC, the zip you just downloaded. If this nag comes up, press close. Then in WinRAR, open up PSP VNC V1.22 and FW1.5 and select these two folders. Then go over to Start, My Computer, your PSP drive, PSP. Then game 150 and drag the two folders uh, in the WinRAR window. Whoops, drag the two folders in the WinRAR window over to game 150. Here we go. Now I'll show you what you have to do on your PSP. Okay, so disconnect your USB and head over to game, then memory stick. Open up portable VNC viewer. Select your network connection, it does have to be set up with a PSP. and then press X on new host. Now you have to use the D-pad buttons to change the values of these numbers, so I'm 192.168.1.5 and you can leave the 5900 at the end, that's just the VNC connection port. Type a name for the host if you want, uh, I couldn't really be bothered with it, so press enter when you're done on the on-screen keyboard. Because we're on Windows, we choose the Windows icon, and then press X, and then X again. Type a password, and there you go.
we should be all connected now to Windows XP. As you can see, I can move my mouse on the screen about and actually see the screen as well. X is for uh, left click and square is for right click. So that was my video on how you can view and control your computer screen on your PSP. I hope I helped you. Uh, please rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. YouTube user 485 Bliss suggested that I did this video because uh, it was a good idea. So maybe you can pay his channel a visit or subscribe to it. Again, thanks for watching this video.